Mr. President, incoming President, incoming First Lady, incoming Vice President, Mr. Chairman, thank you for your outstanding leadership. This 2024 MPP manifesto evidently is an action plan to build on the enviable record of President Nana Adodankwa Akufuado to create hundreds, thousands, and millions of jobs for the Ghanaian youth and bring the much needed development to our people. Let me very briefly highlight some of the remarkable achievements which, God willing, the incoming President of the Republic, Dr. Mahamadou Baumia, will leverage to unleash prosperity for the Ghanaian people. Firstly, by dint of hard work and innovative policies, we have overtaken South Africa as a leading producer of gold on the continent and the seed in the world. We have revamped the Dorman, Bibieni and Oboasi mines and exports received from gold alone in the first half of this year has crossed 5 billion United States dollars. Our policies have attracted new investments into the country with three new gold mines under construction by Newmont in the Hafu region, Kadna Namdini in the Upper East region, and Azuma Resources in the Upper West region, which will consolidate our position as a leading producer of gold in Africa. Even more important for us is that these investments have created scores of jobs for the youth and more high paying jobs will become available when these mines start operation. And with our value addition, local content and local policy, including the construction of refineries, mandatory risking on the Ghana Stock Exchange, and the reservation of jobs and the provision of some 50 goods and services for the Ghanaian private sector. The people of Ghana are benefiting directly from this new enhanced indigenous mining industry. Through our enhanced regulation of the small scale mining sector and the ramping up of community mining schemes, even while we acknowledge that we still have a long way to go, this sector is largely, without a shred of doubt, more sanitized than we met it in 2016. And the reduction of withholding tax on unprocessed gold in this sector from 3% to 1.5% has led to over 6,000% increment in gold exports from the small-scale mining sector alone. Through the Domestic Gold Purchase Program, Ghana's gold reserves have increased from 8 tons since independence to 17 tons in just five years. And the goal for oil program has contributed to stabilizing the prices of petrol at the pump. A President Baumia, with this manifesto, will establish the Novell Minerals Development Bank. It will be jobs, 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 for the Ghanaian people. Large and small scale mining will flourish, thereby creating jobs for the teeming youth of our country. Secondly, through our policies in the forestry sector, Ghana has become a global leader in forest management and nature-based climate action. Green Ghana alone has resulted in the planting of 52 million trees in just four years. Between 2017 and 2023 alone, some 721,000 hectares of forests have been cultivated five times more than the 157,300 hectares cultivated in the whopping 53 years between 1963 and 2016. We are protecting our environment indeed. And we are digitizing the records of the Lands Commission to ensure effective and efficient land service delivery. And thirdly, we have kept a well-equipped armed forces and secured our borders for the past eight years. The Akufuado government has settled 
30 million United States dollars arrears owed to peacekeeping personnel and increase their allowances from $30 to $35 United States dollars per soldier per day. Phase one and two of the Barras Regenerative Project, the transformation agenda of the military housing project for the Ghana Armed Forces, the 583 housing units constructed to support the accommodation needs of security services personnel of our country, the 933 vehicles, the 4,202 motorbikes, and the three helicopters provided to the Ghana Police Service, aside increasing the number of personnel by almost 40 percent, are just a few of the interventions made to secure our safety and security through our gallant men and women in uniform. In these 2024 elections, we, the youth, have a clear choice to make like never before in past elections. A choice between eight years of tangible and impactful achievement against eight years of broken promises, doom so, and an era of unemployment association of Ghana. A choice between this well thought through 2024 MPP manifesto fashioned to expand opportunities for Ghana's private sector and create jobs, jobs and jobs for the young people of our country. And one which has been tried, tested and failed woefully. Total failure it was. And above all, a choice between a smart, hardworking, youthful and problem-solving leader of enormous personal integrity who will work for you day and night, and those who have been tried, failed, and are desperately attempting to recycle themselves never again. Let us, let us therefore, young men and women, from Laura to Sekendi, from Hohoi to Asantimampong, from Saboba to Kintampo, and of course, from my beloved constituency of Damango, rally behind Dr. Mahamadu Bawimia and Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe and the new Patriotic Party, a game changer for the youth of Ghana. And so, my friends, fellow young Ghanaians, in all humility and modesty, I say to you today that this 2024 MPP manifesto will be strictly and sacredly implemented to the fullest by our outstanding and visionary leader and by the grace of Almighty God, the next president of our republic, the man with bold solutions for the future, His Excellency Dr. Mahamadu Bawimia. A vote for DMB and Napo is a vote for the youth. A vote for DMB. And Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe is a vote for jobs. A vote for DMB. And a vote for Napo is a vote for both solutions for the future. Fellow patriots, I am the term speaker and the final speaker. And therefore, on this auspicious note, let me introduce to you the spectacular legacy of the outstanding president of our country, the president of the movement, the president who has built Ghana to this point, the president of compassion, the president, the fatherly president, and the president of our country, His Excellency Nana Adodanto Akufuado. It is my honor to introduce you the legacy documentary title, and I quote, a strong legacy to build on, end quote. Enjoy it. We are moving forward. We are firing forward. We are moving from north to east to west to south. And the new patriotic party is marching on to victory to make Bawumia the next president of this republic of ours. Thank you.